<clears throat> what is up everybody this is ray from radar reviews this movie review is going to be a little bit different because i'm a little sick i don't really look too good um i really don't want to make a, a full-blown video so i'm just gonna do a nice little voiceover for the transformers the last night movie review okay so transformers the last night directed by michael bay starring mark Wahlberg. um i think the transformers movies for the most part are okay they are not great movies they are not utter trash either but they're 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 just not up to par they look amazing but just because it looks amazing doesn't mean that they're they're great movies to transformers the last night where um optimus is off into space and he's trying to find out he's trying to go meet his maker to find out what happened to a cybertron and and so he leaves earth and some time passes and now the the autobots are, and decepticons are illegal they're illegal aliens technically on earth and the governments are trying to kick them off or destroy them or capture or have them uh, captured or anything um so it has some sort of political underlining tone in the storyline which is a uh, kind of intelligence you know i mean more for more so for a transformers movie than i thought but never not give too much of the story away because some of the story elements for me failed <laughs> they were just kind of out there like the, they started showing flashbacks of the autobots in the king arthur time which actually looked cool i really loved the way it looked in the beginning um i think there were one too many explosions and one too many bodies flipping because if you can count through the whole movie there's about 15 to 20 times including the actual actors the the the, the main characters in the movie where things blow up next to them and they are just doing front flips or back flips and away from the flames and everything and it's just like okay that's one too many back flips or front flips but um let me start off with the pros of the movie first Okay, the visuals, the computer graphics of the Transformers, the movie, absolutely amazing. I mean, the technological achievement of the, the robots fighting and, and coinciding with the, with, with the real world and real people and, and the robots transforming and swinging swords and, and shooting blasters and fighting, or they were becoming dragons or, or they were dinosaurs or Decepticons or Autobots or whatever they it looked amazing so the technical computer team and uh, the the team that organized the shots along with michael bay's direction of course um they did a fantastic job in the actual look of the movie okay so the, it is a beautiful freaking movie I, I can't take that away um there's one or two story elements that i thought was cool about you know the the robots like i said before the robots being aliens and being kicked off and the whole political thing i thought that was kind of clever um the relationship well or the non-relationship between mark Wahlberg and his daughter but you never see his daughter you know from the last one of the last movies um he's because he's a criminal and he's like on the run so he speaks to her or really doesn't speak to her through like a phone call or through a text it's just kind of like all secrecy whatever because then they could track them down so anyway i thought that was a cool little thing that that's about it actually that's good about the movie because it's a special effects and uh, one or two one or two bits and pieces of the story that i thought were actually cool and heartwarming and clever and that was about it so anyway let me get to the cons of the movie because i don't want to make this video too long the cons of the movie the story is so back and forth and convoluted within explaining how the autobots were back in the day uh, uh thousands of years ago during the king arthur times which even though it looked cool and it looked amazing had amazing shots they somehow forgot where they came from and they were knights before and they blasted back off to cybertron and then they came back throughout history and and visited and you know you know how in the, i think the fourth one they came to see dinosaurs dinosaur time and, and all this stuff whatever anyway so then they, they had this little mini story with Bumblebee and the Nazis and how Bumblebee wasn't Bumblebee. He was a different Autobot and he evolved, but his memory was taken from him. And so he forgot about all this stuff and he had to be some other whatever, whatever some other Autobot. And I was just like, okay, like you couldn't just, anyway, whatever. So, um, and then just how the, the, the special effects were 
that were so great they were like they were aimed to distract you from so many story elements because so many story elements made no sense of why certain things were blowing up and people were attacking over here and people attacking over there just like oh my god this is so annoying it, it was like a nickelodeon cartoon series like the, the story feels like it was written for a, a nickelodeon mystery series it wasn't written for a big budget blockbuster that took like you know 350 million dollars to make um, and then yeah, the lack of Optimus Prime. You see Optimus Prime a little bit in the beginning, then for like a minute over here, and then a minute over here, because he's like a captive out in space, and then he comes back. And the total 100% lack of Unicron is one thing that really pissed me off because I thought Unicron was gonna be you know that Unicron that we know of from the comics, even though it might have been extremely difficult to do or extremely difficult to to, to get correct which they did not. Transformers 5 last night completely failed with getting Unicron uh, in any way, shape, or form for me. So even if you diehard Transformers fans, even some of you guys were like, that's it? That's Unicron? Like, really? Oh, okay. That kind of kind of sucked. Anyway, um, the worst part about this damn movie that I'm going to be 100% honest about is the the quote unquote comedy of the movie this movie it tries to be funny it tries to set up little side characters jokes little stupid freaking retarded robots the little baby robots or the bigger robots trying to uh, uh, just trying to be clever with stupid jokes and it does not work it's never worked none of the autobots stupid f supposedly funny lines ever made me laugh none of them in any of the movies not a single one i was just annoyed i was like why would you Ugh. like it's it like it, it just feel like it was forced in like like it was just like okay here's action here's an action scene they're fighting they're fighting whatever wait wait let's stop right, tell a joke run off and then totally cut the pacing and continuity of the scene to tell a stupid freaking joke or just like in the last movie, the stupid product placement with the fucking Bud Lights. Oh my god. Oh, the Sprite or the, the soda machine. Oh my god, it was fucking horrible. And the last movie really sucked. Uh, the closest thing that was funny was um, when they tried to replace Bumblebee's voice box. And he spoke like a female robot. And he, he called somebody a, a punk bitch or something like that. It, that sounded kind of funny, but I was like, it's so set up. It's so forced. It's like, it's just, it was so corny. It was so whack. Um, yeah, it was just, the, for me, the movie lacked heart. Except for, like, for one character. I didn't care about any of the other characters. I mean, I cared about Bumblebee. Because Bumblebee was one of the characters in all the movies that kind of stood out. Up, uh, on top of, you know, Optimus Prime. Even though Optimus Prime in this movie kind of sucked. I'm sorry, like, it was, like, it was Nemesis Prime. And it was, like... Blah. You had like two or three really cool scenes and then the rest kind of like failed. So this whole movie in a whole, in a complete whole, um, looks beautiful. Um, has one or two little story points that, that are clever, but they're not really expressed or, or, or explained upon any more than what is just on the surface pretty much. Then uh, the little touching thing between Mark Wahlberg and his daughter but that was a quick minute or two here or there but it is a character trait that stood out and you kind of understood why he was doing everything he was doing so that was good about the movie um the the organized fights were were amazing even though you kind of like kind of failed oh yeah there was one scene that i thought was absolutely retarded was it's a desert scene and um megatron is in the desert scene it's in the desert and he's meeting with lawyers to try and work out a deal and a plan to release other Decepticons so that they can try to hunt down. Uh, uh, it's, oh my God. You're Megatron. You're freaking Megatron. And you're talking to lawyers about releasing other Decepticons for paperwork and filing work. I was like, what the fuck? fuck is this like this whole scene was straight shit like that was straight shit it was stupid completely utterly stupid i i i can't wait 
for they're gonna make a Bumblebee spin-off movie. Anyway, before I get into that, guys, Transformers: The Last Night is a complete and utter skip. Watch that movie on bootleg. Um, if you get a, a an illegal copy of it, feel free to watch it that way, because I wouldn't recommend anybody wasting their money on this movie if you like the other transformers movies like a lot and you thought they were great i'm sorry you 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 lack <laughs> the ability to tell what a good movie is but if you really 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 love the transformers movies then yeah go ahead go check out transformers the last night you, you'll probably be disappointed anyway because this was well it's not the worst one the worst one was that part four part four was the biggest piece of shit worst transformers movie ever this one would be the second worst okay <laughs> so if you're gonna go see it go ahead i wouldn't waste money on it yeah skip transformers the last night it is just blah it's not the not the worst movie in the world but i would just skip it completely um so yeah what do you think about <laughs> the last night if you liked it okay sorry if you didn't like it then you probably had all the same opinions i did so anyway this is ray from radar reviews sorry for this voiceover taking a little bit too long um yeah everybody have a nice day peace out